It is important to remember that while we, we revere Joseph Smith as a prophet of God, this is not the church of Joseph Smith, nor is it the church of Mormon. This is the church of Jesus Christ. He decried exactly what his church should be called. Quote, For thus shall my church be called in the last days, even the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Close quote. I have spoken previously about a needed course correction in the way we refer to the name of the church. Since that time, much has been done to accomplish this correction. We have gone to these extraordinary efforts because when we remove the Lord's name from the name of his church, we inadvertently remove him as the central focus of our worship and our lives. When we take the Savior's name upon us at baptism, we commit to witness by our words, thoughts, and actions that Jesus is the Christ. To help us remember him and to identify the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as the Lord's Church, we are pleased to introduce a symbol that will signify the central place of Jesus Christ in his Church. This symbol includes the name of the Church contained within a cornerstone. Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. At the center of the symbol, is a representation of Torvaldsen's marble statue, the Christus. It portrays the resurrected, living Lord reaching out to embrace all who will come unto him. Symbolically, Jesus Christ is standing under an arch. The arch reminds us of the resurrected Savior emerging from the tomb on the third day following his crucifixion. This symbol should feel familiar to many as we have long identified the restored gospel with the living, resurrected Christ. The symbol will now be used as a visual identifier for official literature, news, and events of the church. It will remind all that this is the Savior's church and that all we do as members of his church centers on Jesus Christ and his gospel. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, tomorrow is Palm Sunday, as Elder Gong has so eloquently taught. Then we enter this special week that culminates with Easter. As followers of Jesus Christ, Living in a day when the COVID-19 pandemic has put the whole world in commotion. Let us not just talk of Christ or preach of Christ or employ a symbol representing Christ. Let us put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ into action. <laughs>